When I first heard about COVID-19, I just thought it was just a phase that will go, that will blow over within a month or two. But then when it started hitting other countries and then eventually it hit South Africa, then it became more serious. We are all in this together. We need to take it very seriously by adhering to all the COVID regulations. Well, that was one morning when uh, my daughter is a nurse. She did night duty. She came home and said, Ma, I've been tested. We got into the bed and she's got a small baby, only a month old. And I thought, if she's got to die now, I am this old, how am I going to cope with this baby? After I tested and I came positive, the um, best thing I can do is I can do it and then I can do it. Earlier on this year, my grandmother had um, COVID-19, so it was really tough. That's when I saw like COVID is really, really, really serious and it's very dangerous. I really think that COVID-19 is a serious threat to everybody's well-being. Physically, people get very sick. It's unknown of how long we're going to be sick and the effects that COVID-19 is going to have on all of us. Well, COVID-19 is very serious. The seriousness of it is because you'd heard of someone that would, have, that would be infected of COVID-19 just a day, and the following day, that person is dead. We've seen what happened in our families, in our, with our loved ones, with our colleagues. Most of us, we lost people that we love the past year due to COVID. So by now, I think each and everyone in the community should understand and should have learned on how COVID is dangerous to us and how it's impacting us as a country or as a world that we need to take it very seriously. People, COVID-19 is serious and it kills. Um, you should sanitize, always wash your hands, maintain social distancing, and always wear your mask like I did here. I encourage the young people that have smartphones to help older people to register for the vaccine everywhere. Even the teachers can also assist their, their families, the students, everybody can help uh, the older people and healthcare workers, they can visit the old age homes to go and assist the older persons that are admitted in our old age homes to register for the vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine will help us boost your own immune system so that you are more comfortable with moving around and have a better immunity. If I have a message for the community regarding the vaccine is be do the responsible thing and vaccinate. It's for your own sake as well as your loved ones. Hi, I'm going to talk to you. 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 We are not feeling organic. We are not happy about it. We are not trying to organ. We are not trying to organ. We are not we protect. We are not trying to do it. In the vaccine, we are protect the family. We are protect the people. We are not trying to do it. We are not trying to do it. People shouldn't be afraid of the vaccine because it's saving our lives and it's reducing the infection as a whole. So if we can have lesser cases then we think we might beat the COVID. So it's our duty as peers to assist older people because we could help older people to register for the COVID-19 vaccine. Fortunately with me, I didn't even get even the mildest of the symptoms after taking the vaccine. I'm still okay, I'm still fine. Everything is okay with me. But I'm still taking care of myself. Hey, I'm, I still wear my mask. I still wash my hands. I still make sure that I maintain the social distance. I told my husband, I told my brother, and I, told, I even told my pastor, please, we must take it because we cannot live without it. I want to live very longer than I am at the moment, and really, COVID-19 shouldn't be the reason for me dying so soon.
Let's get vaccinated. Let's get responsible. Let's get vaccinated, South Africa.